why don't we take a look for a moment at codependent traits as they're traditionally laid out, and we're going to compare them directly to how we might look at the same issues from a prodependent or attachment-based model. So, for example, codependency emphasizes a lot of words like enmeshed. I would look, instead of enmeshed, how about deeply involved? Codependence says that partners are externally focused. They're not focused on themselves. They're only focused on that addict or that troubled person. How about saying they're concerned about the welfare of others and they really want to help support someone they love? Codependence says that partners are enabling when they're trying to make the problem better. How about they're concerned and trying to fix it and actually being supportive? When I go down this list, word after word, negative word, negative phrase after negative word and negative phrase, when I look at those phrases and words from a perspective of love and attachment, they melt away, the pathology melts away into someone who's really just trying to do the best they can to take care of someone they love with the best skills they've got. And you know, maybe that partner does have trauma in their history. Maybe they did pick this person because it mirrors their own trauma. Maybe they are acting out some of their own history of trauma in the relationship. Who cares? That doesn't matter when that partner first walks into your office. When they first walk into your office, what they want is us to get down on our knees and give them a hug and say, oh my God, you've been through such a hard time loving this person who is so broken and I'm so sorry. And let me validate and support you for the love that you've given because clearly you've stayed with this troubled person, you've given up your own life to try to help this troubled person and I wanna validate and celebrate that. And you know what, further, I'm kind of sad that you haven't been able to fully achieve your goal by helping to heal them with all your love and caring. So let me help you love better. Let me as a therapist help you love in a situation that is atypical, where you're loving someone who's troubled. And I think if I join with that person and celebrate the love they've given, honor the things they've done, then there might be room for me to parse what has been helpful, helpful and not helpful in terms of what is best for that situation. But if I approach that partner by demonizing them or suggesting that they themselves have pathology that led them to try to help, they're going to say, screw you and walk out of my office.